Hey Aries, welcome to your quarterly reading for October, November, December. I am Charlene Lizette. Let's dive in and see what's going on for you for the next quarter, the end of the year. All right, let's see. Uh, click subscribe and go follow me over on Instagram because I am doing a giveaway. You're not going to want to miss that. There are a lot of juicy things that you can get. All right, but you got to be following me over on the Instagram to find out all about this. All right, let's see what's going on in October. Five of Cups, the Sun and the Devil. Okay, two of cups, the star and the three of wands. Okay, you've got a lot of major arcana here happening, Aries. The three of pentacles, four of pentacles, and the eight of wands. All right, let me go to the bottom. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, really working on your finances, really working on your business, really working on your partnerships is going to be a theme for um, October, November, and December. What I am going to say though is that October and November are going to be catalytic moments in your life. Uh, big things are going to happen, big changes, and it makes sense because we have the eclipse season happening uh, in your sign. So, uh, yeah, makes a lot of sense. Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to do. Reunion, soul recognition, collaboration, partnerships, and friendships. So again, there is this theme. So we have um, the sun moving to Libra on October 22nd. And when, no, September 22nd, sorry. And as we move into Libra season, there's going to be this very, very big theme around partnerships, around friendships, around harmony, around business relationships, on your values, love, romance, beauty, all the things that are connected to Libra and Venus. Why is this so important to you as an Aries? Because in astrology, Aries other side or other half, the yin to their yang is Libra. All right. And so Venus, Mars, all right. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. I'm sure you've all heard that before. Okay. And so this is going to be a really potent time for you especially with the eclipses as well, for you to really learn about your patterns, your behaviors, what keeps you limited, what keeps you stuck, and also where you have these beautiful opportunities for a lot, a lot of growth and expansion. You got the 11th house here, um, Ernest, and it is Aquarius. The 11th house is all about partnerships uh, in terms of social networking, right? So social groups, um, think like societies, committees, uh, social gatherings, sports teams, anything where there is a, a memberships, anything where there is a big group of people or a group of people coming together, okay? It also deals with social media, technology, um, what else is there? Humanitarianism, there's also like rebel with a cause, revolution, okay? All those are like a key words of the 11th house, okay? Now, because the word membership has come up, I am going to invite you to join us over on Sanctum. Sanctum is my private community. We do monthly live Q&As. We do monthly live master classes, sacred circles. There's so much and the, uh, to have in that course, okay? You can take courses. You can take classes, meditations. There's a forum. There's all this stuff. So if you've been looking for a community of like-minded people, you can join us over on Sanctum. The doors open October 1st, so the link is in the description box below, all right? Now, as we move on here into your reading, I just only said that to you because this membership, so I feel like groups of people, uh, communities are going to be very important for you, okay? October seems to be a bit, a bit of a rough start, okay? We have the Five of Cups, so you're feeling really down about something that you're not even able to see the sun that's shining in your life. And with the devil here, it looks like there is somebody here trying to um, make you feel like you're not in control or trying to make you feel powerless or you're dealing with some sort of addiction, some sort of difficulty, some sort of challenge that has to do from your childhood. All right. So this could be like growing up with toxic parents and then the toxic parents, um, their habits, their behaviors, etc. All of a sudden now manifesting in your own life and you're seeing these things kind of happen in your own life, in your family, in your relationships, etc. You could also be a stepdad or a, a dad or a mom or a stepmom and all of a sudden you're in some type of issue here. What I am seeing with the Five of Cups, the Sun and the Devil though, is that there is a way for all the parties involved to free themselves and to focus on the happiness, the joy, okay? However, that choice is up to every single party that's involved. And more importantly, it's up to you, Aries, because this is your reading, babe. And what you need to understand is that if you keep looking at something through the same lens, you're always going to get the same results. 
All right. Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to do. Most definitely. I would also just be very cautious of this devil person. Honestly, I feel like they're a little bit toxic as well. And they really push you beyond your limits. But remember, every person that we interact with, um, we have some type of contract with. So clearly you have to learn what that contract, what that karmic tie is to that person and then free yourself from it. And oftentimes your astrology or tarot can help you answer that. Okay. Now, as we move on to November, things start to get nice. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm looking pretty juicy, looking nice. You know that song from Cinderella, like a wish is a what? A wish is a wish is a heart a wish is a dream your heart makes when you're fast asleep. Yeah. A wish is a dream. Why sorry guys, the lighting is just like atrocious right now and it's driving me nuts. A wish is a dream your heart makes when you're fast asleep, okay? Literally, the universe here is delivering something so beautiful to you. I can't help but feel like it's supposed to be like this. There you go. Okay, somebody's going to be offering you something that's going to be giving you hope, inspiration, where you're going to feel really lucky and really fortunate, where you're going to feel like, you know what? Things are on the up and up, okay? And the fact that you got the reunion, soul recognition, collaboration, partnership, and friendship also confirms to me that the people in your life that you will meet during the month, oh my God, this vents, during the month of October are going to be really, really supportive for you. They're going to be helpful. They're going to uh, guide you. They're going to show you the direction which to take. They're just going to be really, really awesome people where they're, they're, some of them can be like romantic, okay? Some of them can be long-term, but... Sorry, I just feel like I have hair all over the place. I don't know if you, did you just cut your hair? Um, did you just get a haircut? Did you just like do something? If you're a guy, did you just get your beard done? Like I'm literally feeling like, you know when you go get your haircut and there's like hair everywhere? That's what I'm feeling right now. And I know it's not me because I just showered and I just washed my body and I made sure I have no hair everywhere. So thank you for that. Drop it in the comments if you did that. Or if you like you trimmed your own hair or you're trimming your own hair while you're watching this, okay? Anyways, back to the three of wands. In the Three of Wands, it's about moving forward now, okay? Leave what's in the past behind you. It's time for you to take a leap of faith. It's time to look forward into your future. It's time for you to think about where you want to go in life and take the actionable next steps to get there, okay, Aries? Now, as we move on into December, before we dive into your love reading, um, one of the things I wanted to tell you is that in December, you know, obviously it's the holidays. It's when we like to spend a lot of money. It's when we spend the most money. It's, you know, where we end up um, seeing a lot of people and just getting, going out there and having drinks and doing all that kind of stuff. I'm not saying don't do that. Okay. Absolutely. Go and do that. Go have fun. Go do your thing. However, make sure that you are saving your money and make sure you're being responsible with your money because with the three of pentacles and the four of pentacles, I do see here that there is still work to be done to grow that money. So you don't want to be spending it all away. Okay, make sure you save that money, make sure you're collaborating, make sure you're finding ways to work together with people in the month of December. I do see networking opportunities, I do see um, environment that will actually help benefit you and help you grow and expand in your business and your personal life, etc. I'm seeing a lot of really big focus on your career and your business, specifically around your values, around your money with this eight of pentacles here. Yeah. After a time of feeling a little bit left out in the cold or feeling a little bit poor, maybe you've been struggling financially. Not anymore, baby. Not anymore. It's time for you to focus on work, on making that money. And more importantly here with this Eight of Wands, on putting that energy towards the future, Aries. Towards the future. Okay, I'm going to fix this lighting because it's actually driving me insane. And your girls, I, I just can't. I will literally redo this whole video because I'm that girl. Okay, now before we dive into your love reading, the amulet you got is Venus. Venus has Morganite Barrel and Rose Quartz. If you've been wanting to attract passion, love, sensuality, tune into that Libra energy, attract your soulmate, attract your marriage partner, your romantic partner, etc. You want to put on Venus, okay? Venus, literally, put it on, and then you'll message me and be like, I can't believe how fast. And I'll be like, no, no, I can't believe, because I know. There's a reason why I don't wear Venus. And the days that I do wear Venus, you know, that's, uh, that's, uh, I'm your Venus, I'm your fire, your desire, mm -hmm. passion, literally, literally passion. That's exactly what happens. Stay optimistic about your romantic life and children. Okay. Yeah. So 
clearly children are playing a really big role, whether you have kids, whether you're in a relationship with somebody who has kids. Um, yeah, there's a lot to be said here about um, kids. Let's see. The Knight of Pentacles and Passion here. Ooh, you got a... Oh. Oh. This, this person is obsessed with you? Oh, I need to know the T. I'm seeing now. Okay, stay optimistic about your love life. You're meeting somebody new completely. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Um, I just saw something here as we dived into your love reading. Some of you are actually like single parents and you're finally going to be meeting somebody new or you've been single for a very long time, but there's somebody who is extremely attached to you. Either they're your ex, baby daddy, baby mama, whatever, or there's somebody that you've known since childhood. Um, either way, okay. There's that bit of an obsession here. Yeah. All right, let's see. And okay, we got two eight of swords and five of wands for children. Yeah, no. Look, you need to get out of the store. Dude, the bud. Oh my God. It says potential promise. It's about to happen. Keep going. And then underneath that, the child within inner mother, innocence, <laughs> excuse me, gentleness, tenderness. Look, if you are a parent and you're a single parent, I want you to know something. You being a single parent does not invalidate you or make you any less worthy or any less valuable of receiving any type of love or attention. All right? Don't ever let, especially this toxic duty, don't ever let them tell you that you are not worthy of love because you are a mother or a father now. All right? Or that you have to accept or settle for less. Absolutely, no thank you, no. Okay? Thank you, Aries. Listen, overall, this is looking like a pretty juicy quarter, not going to lie. There's some really nice cards here. There are some duties you're going to have to deal with. But overall, my babes, this is what you got to look forward to. La. Okay. All right. All right, Aries. I'm going to leave this video here to help you with attracting the soulmate and really just releasing this duty caca stuff. And if you want to book a session with me, join the Sanctum, um, pick up your amulet, work with me in any capacity, including my courses. They're all in the description box below. Make sure you go follow me on Instagram because I'm having a giveaway. You don't want to miss it. Okay. We will see you later. Alligator. Peace out. Bye.